Hello ladies and gentlemen, I hope you have a great and wonderful day, and this will be the last video of the day, I am so sorry for this. I want to get more videos out, and I'm hoping to get more out next week. Um, I'm actually going to look into, first time forever, I'm going to look into the Epoch thing and see what I can do about that whole situation there, and see if I can actually uh, stream and... Uh, cover that video so when i get confirmation i'll try to put it up there so we can all watch i will not put it in video format i will put it in video format after the stream obviously and that way people can both have the video format and the stream format as well um so uh, there you go but as of right now that's still gonna be working on progress i am sorry for the late for the, the very little amount of videos however what we have this is a bit more of a concerning matter we have female skateboarder faces threats after advocating for fairness in women's sports while upholding a concept that transgender women are women. We have this here. In an Instagram post that since appears to have been deleted, Anna O'Neill wrote, Although people are trying to spin the narrative that I am transphobic and that I bully transgender women, that is false. O'Neill was referring to a recent meeting addressing eligibility standards for trans-identifying males who want to compete at the elite level in downhill skateboarding alongside women. So what we have this here is from Taylor Silverman. She goes on to say that uh, female down downhill skateboarder Anna O'Neill spoke up about transgender women in a competition and say she, she has been viciously bullied and threatened with violence for it. So you guys are supposed to be, um, isn't the trans community supposed to be very um, loving and compelling and, you know, um, and, and just respect everybody? Is that Doing this is kind of the opposite of that, right? Like this is not what we call very happy and loving. This sounds like very violent and evil. But of course, they will try to spin the narrative to make them feel better about themselves. What we have here is from Anna O'Neill's post herself, which this has been since deleted. This is the introduction for the recent women's meeting addressing transgender elig eligibility criteria at the elite level in downhill skateboarding. Although people are trying to spin the narrative that I am transphobic, that I bully, tr that I bully transgender women, that is false. The structure of this meeting it wasn't perfect by any means. No one who organized this is an expert in conflict resolution. However, our attentions were bringing to all, bringing all relevant parties to the table and to be and to open up communication in a respectful manner, the best way we know how, with the tools and information we have. We have the board. This isn't about myself. This isn't about any individual athlete. This is about fairness and safety in sport and how much we are willing to sacrifice our inclusivity. Transgender trans women are women. You can be an ally who sports trans rights, women's rights, and fair and meaningful competition simultaneously. I never intended for everyone to agree on everything in this meeting, but I did want but I did want everyone to have a chance to be heard. I firmly believe society will be a better place if we stop trying to intimidate others into silence and instead try to foster healthy communication and when discussing polarizing topics. Here's the problem with this in general, right? Where she is correct that we would be able, we would have a lot better society if we start trying to imitate others into silence. But the thing is, the trans community and a lot of the people of the far left, the communist regime, they don't care about your uh, about anybody else's opinions. They only care about their own. So therefore, if you're what you're saying is true and is going against their narrative, their agenda, they're going to use every every ability in their power to silence you, so that way you can't speak up. And they'll use violence and threats and stuff like as they do are with this Anna O'Neill person with their so-called tolerant left, by the way, that to silence you. That's what they do. That's something that they just cannot not do. So when we're thinking about stuff like this, we have to understand that the far left, the democratic regime, the, the communist regime, the evil establishment which houses both Republicans and Democrats that are both evil are not going to allow this to happen. They're going to fight back and silence you. And they're doing that now with certain states and law enforcement, uh, the crazy stuff like that. What we have here is the transgender women are women, are women. I have never said otherwise. But sex and gender are two different things. No, here's what you need to start saying. Transgender women are not women. That's, let's get this out of the way. We need to set a standard and a policy in a way that says women are women and transgender women are not women. They are people trying to lie to everybody and saying that they're women so they have access to women's things and abuse them. That's pretty much what they are. There's a very few results that they are women and the fact that we are not giving them actual medical or mental help is asinine to me. But I digress. But sex and gender are two different things. To say that there are no psycholo sociological differences between transgender women and females is false. 
Yes, exactly. Because female brains and male brains operate differently. We have a different way of thinking in both when it comes down to partners or what we what we seek from our partner and our different roles. And that's just the reality of it. We just think differently. Our body is our bodies are completely different. Our bone structure is different. Men and women are the same in some aspects, but in a lot of ways, they couldn't be any more different, which is fine. That's just reality. We don't have to go and start crying about saying stuff like, oh, well, the, what men and women are the same. No, but because they're not. They're vastly different. Now, when it comes to mental mental or actual brain capacity or, you know, um, intelligence, we're relatively the same. There is no difference there, which is why I always kind of raised my eyebrow when women started their own uh, CCSW from the Rainbow Six with games when they were never unincluded in the in the season, in the place to first place. But that's either near or there. Argument, arguments were made for the inclusion of transgender women in the two, in the women's category with zero eligibility criteria. Arguments were also made for trans women only being allowed to race in the women's category if they have not gone through any stage of male puberty. Many other arguments were made. This was the purpose of this meeting, to discuss different viewpoints, even if talking about these possibilities. Hurt feelings on either side, critical thinking, and the sharing of ideas is integral to understanding nuanced issues and making informed decisions. Here's another thing that I want to address here as well when it comes down to, you know, going out, going through any stage of marital puberty. There are been, there has been a few clips going around the internet where there has been a young boy when it comes down to just pure wrestling, and I don't know whether he was 12 or 11, but regardless, he was either just starting puberty or before puberty, and he was beating this woman very, very easily, and she was like two to three times his size, and she was having a very hard time trying to pin him down while she, while he was pinning her down in, in a non-creepy and sexual way, people. Come on, get your minds out of the gutter. So... That being said, even if you take out this male puberty thing, it's still a massive problem. It's still a massive difference. If you're a full, full-grown female and you can't even take down a, a pretty much a child at a very young age, then that's a massive problem, right? Like that's that's a huge strength deficit. And again, ladies, there's nothing wrong with knowing that you are weaker than men or that you physically, physically, or if you're, uh, or you can't beat them in a fight. That's, that's fine. We have different roles to play and you have to go to your strengths. There's nothing wrong with having differences with each other. And there's nothing wrong to embrace those differences and go to what we do best. Women are able to do things that men can't do. And men are able to do things that women can't do. Uh, men are able to do things that women can't do. Okay. That's just normal. And the fact that we're going to have to, we're even in a society today where we're discussing whether or not what men and women cannot do, what men and women cannot do, and the reality that men can be women is just completely asinine. It's just insane. So, we have this. Many other arguments were made. This was the purpose of this meeting to discuss different viewpoints, even if talking about these possibilities, hurt feelings are on either side. Critical thinking and the sharing of the ideas is integral to understanding nuanced issues and making informed decisions. In many spaces in this world, there doesn't need to be any differentiation between trans women and females, as they are both women. They're not. Stop lying to yourself. But in some spaces, these differences matter and should not be ignored. This is this conversation is taking place across the world in every sport. We've been taking that first step and have been viciously bullied and threatened with violence for it. Regardless, I plan to continue fostering respectful and open and meaningful dialogue with the aim of finding ways to honor all marginalized groups in our beautiful community and for our sport. And this, Anna, I agree with a lot of things that you're saying in terms of the differences, but saying that men, trans women or women is the is where you go here to where you fail epically. Because when you do this stuff, when you do this stuff and you are doing things uh, saying that we're trans women are women, you're not helping your sport. You're hurting it. Because, again, you're giving them the the, the ability and the power to say, oh, we sh well, even this person says trans women are women. No. Trans women are not women. Men are not women. Plain and simple. As men, women are not men. So if we're going to be accurate here, men are men, women are women. Plain and simple, full stop. If people are going to start to disagree disagreeing with this, then don't, uh, then don't, Feel sad when your sport sport gets taken out because you start trying to go with the narrative, right? So, 
as we say here, that's from Taylor Shepherdman. I definitely do not agree that transgender women are women, but I'm glad more women are speaking up, and I think this goes to show that no matter how supportive you try to be, it is never enough. Of course not, because they they hate you. These people actually hate you. They hate women in general, and they want to get rid of women in every sense possible. I have a lot of criticisms of what women do in today's modern society, especially in the dating market, but of course, there's also a time to where women need to start understanding that this is a problem, and I will support them from trying to at least try to fight back. That's really what I'm asking for, and to do your information to stop destroying your own, your own, well, your own gender, your own sports, your own everything. If you guys fight back, like you have my full support, but don't be stupid about it. All right, guys, that's it for the video. Like, share, share. As always, take care.